Welcome to the channel everybody it is friday april 23rd 2021 out here at the lavity power plant spillway I'm going to be throwing uh some live cut bluegill and some shed uh you can see it's clouding up it's supposed to rain about uh, i don't know 10 10 p.m to 12 um but we're gonna fish it's like five o'clock right now let me yeah five five o'clock p.m so uh let's get some baits out there get a live bluegill here uh, that's a pretty good sized bluegill let's see him whoop huh. well that didn't work let me get another one here there we go. Good size bait. Put them on a, a slip sinker rig. Well, I can't hold on to these jokers today to save my life. So, this is a, a Whisker Seeker 8 aught triple thread hook. Trying them out. I like hooking them right there at the back of the dorsal. Got them on my seven foot uh, ugly stick catfish, medium heavy spinning rod with uh, Abu Garcia Max 60, 50 pound power pro to a 50 pound mono leader, a trilene big game all right so live one's out let's get on here with a let's see find one here there we go i'm gonna cut him up use his head like i said my pbs have come off uh cut bluegill heads so it's one of my favorite baits just cut right there behind the gill plate you got a nice little bloody chunk this is on my basically like a drop shot rig uh, I just hook them through the eyeballs. And this is on a Gamagatsu 8 dot Big Cat Circle. Uh, once again on an Ugly Stick Catfish Special. 7 foot medium heavy with uh, Abu Garcia Ambassador 6500. With the line counter on there that I don't use but it's on there. trade this one out that one i gotta re-rig so i've been catching them right along that that bank over there it drops off and if you can remember from my previous video the water was all the way up to the tree line there so it's dropped a lot but hopefully they'll still be running this bank over here looking for carp drum shed night crawler something something so let me cut this one up, send out the body section. Uh, not this one. I'll go with this one. This is an ugly stick tiger, seven foot, medium heavy. The Gamagatsu 8 dot circle. I'm just gonna. Hook them there in the top. Send out that nice bloody bait right there. All right. Oh, we got 
got one. So like a good one, he pulling drag. Just threw these two out because kept getting taps on these three, but no hookups. And I put shad on these. This was on the gut pocket. He filled pretty good. Oh yeah, good blue. Just trying to get them out of all my other lines. Seriously, that wasn't, but probably five minutes, if that two minutes after I threw this shed out. Oh yeah. He's coming up right alongside the boat. Shouldn't be an easy net if it keeps coming. And he just threw on the brakes and turned it around. He's about to splash again up top. Woo! Oh yeah. That is a good blue. She just laying there on top of the surface. Need you to come up here a little bit so I can scoop you up. Come on. Come on up. Oh, come on. Not good. Come on. Gosh, the weights got in the way. There we go, got her. Jeez. That was a little more complicated than it needed to be thanks to the weight. Oh yeah, here we go. Woo! That's freaking right there at the end. Wore me out trying to net this thing. 29 pounder. Let's see if we can get her up here. Woo! That's a long 29 pound fish. That's for sure. Woo. Let's let her go. There she go. Woo! Thank you. All right, got the got the weight off the of, off the net. So I'll show you what I did. Just got a piece of shad here and I go see, raise it up go right above the backbone so you still get it all connected there's no gap in there and you got your gut pocket that's what it came off of and I just hook it right through the right through the belly clear all the scales out of there Put it in the rod, hold it for a second. 
Let me wash off my hands. And we'll get it back out there. Fishing right off, I had this one right off the point. A nice little ledge. Have it right there. We'll see if there's any more hanging around. Fish on. I just missed one on the middle rod too. That's a live bluegill. I'd switch this one out for a piece of shed because the cut bluegill stopped getting hit. And it seemed to work. Just a little guy. To keep him out of them other other lines though. Live bluegills getting demolished down there. Get the grips on them so we can unhook them here. There we go. There he is, just a little blue, a little eater size if I was keeping them, but I still got a bunch. So, just gonna let him go. Woo! There he goes. All right. Put fish on the same rod, they're on the right side. Fills up. Bigger than the last one, but it ain't bigger than 29. It's swimming at us. Well, he might have some weight on him. I think he's just swimming at us. Ooh. He's all wrapped up. Like I said, I don't think he's bigger than 29, but definitely bigger than the last one. Guys, that's about, what, let's see, we caught that last one at 6.30, it's 6.39, so that bait was only out there about nine minutes. Woo, he ain't done yet. Get skunked in a tournament, but I can come out here and catch them all day. Sometimes, not all the time, but. Just gonna net this one to be safe. Don't want them breaking my line. I don't think he would, but. Uh, 
Come on. Don't go under the boat. Well, I just cannot net today, I guess. There we go. Yeesh. Put him in the rod holder. Let some slack line out. Get him in here. There we go. Alright, let me get him unhooked and weighed and get back on here. Alright, 14 pounds. All three blues. Let's let them go. Gone. All right, let's get fish on that right rod again. Oh, I think you got my other one. Well, maybe not. He sure did take off though. This one's got a little weight to him. He's trying to run out there towards the middle of the Missouri. I'm trying to get him back over here to get him out of the other line. Yeah, he's coming up now. Had a little bit of run in him. Not too terrible. Oh, there he goes. Back. Oh, no, coming up. I got here. If I go, pick another blue. I ain't really fighting, just coming up. Well, oh, I did get in the other line. Gee, don't do that. This is going to be a mess. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me send him in a rod holder. Get the fish grips on him. I don't want to get the net all tangled up. Got him. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there he is, all tangled up. Let me get this mess undone and get back on here. All right. 18.72. Nice blue. I just cut that line and the, the knot unworked itself, so just got to retie. Not as big of a hassle as what I thought it'd be. But let's let him go. kick off there there she goes Whew. let's roll this one in get that all that extra line out the way recast it put the shad head on because bluegill stopped getting hit pretty much killed it so I just threw this one on we'll put it over here on the bank since how we are got to redo that line that way we still have that rod that's got most of the action big one came off the other side but ain't had really no good hits after that so we'll just keep it on that right side all right let me tie up this is on the shad head. It just got picked up. Just got done retying my my lines. This guy might spool me. Jesus. 
He's way out there. Gee. <laughs> yes, sir. He just took off running straight for the, the river there out of this power plant spillway. That big shad head, so it could be a big one. Can't really feel him because he's just running around all over the place. It's coming up now. Ran all the way across. He was on the right side there on that bank. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Gonna have to be on the net, ready to go. Oops, there you go. He wasn't done yet. Gee, come on back. Uh, look at that rod oh yeah this is a good one uh, he's not coming up i tell you that get out from underneath the boat please Oh, there he goes again. There's gonna be a fight, fellas. Gonna be a fight. As soon as he comes off the bottom, he just runs straight out to the channel. Wish I had somebody here to net him. There he goes. Oh, he's boiled up back there. Look at that ugly stick bending. Oh, don't go down. Come on. I was trying to get my other shed out to rebate and I Heard that drag screaming. Whew. Just gonna fight him and tire him out. That <laughs> rod <Rondo. laughs> Might be a little outgunned here. <sighs> oh, there's some weight. Come on, there's a weight. Oh my gosh, look at the thickness on that tail. Come on now. Oh my, oh my. 
He ain't done yet. Let's not rush it. I need a. Hey, my partner's out here to net it. I ain't been having a good net day. Don't want to screw this up. Come on up. Stay up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Got him. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Woo. Oh, this has got to be a PB. Oh, oh yeah! In the boat! Woo! Holy cow, look at that thing! I can't even give you a size comparison on this GoPro. Oh my gosh! Let me get this. We're gonna move them down here. Oh, maybe. Look at that. I mean, from the chair to the back of the boat with the tail curled. Oh. All right, let me get them unhooked. I mean, there's the size of my hand on his head. That is a monster. Oh, thank you. Let's get him unhooked and weighed. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Look at that fish. Oh. oh, yeah. There we go. Gotta love that blue cat, blue cat slime. 71 pounds, my new personal best. Wasn't on a bluegill head, on a shad head. April 23rd, let's let them go. You probably won't see the release, but he's right here beside us. Woo! Fired up. And he's off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is a day of fishing right there. 29, a 14, a 4, 18, and a 71. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get them back out there and try to find some more.